what we will discuss on to, uh, today now today which uh, which will come into next these are the table of contents where we will be discussing all these today what is information security what is the overview of information security how was it 10 years back what is the future of it what is fundamentals of information security and what again the basic important thing is evolution in this field how it has evaluated in this coming 10 years of era and last and most important thing is how this is career path and job opportunities on that we will discuss all these uh, today and yeah as akshya told if you have doubts anytime uh, you can uh, ask in chat in the q and a session i'll uh, try to answer all those questions which you, you which you might have in in that particular area so yeah now see before proceeding to what is information security i want to highlight or i want to tell you about what is information first so once we'll learn what is information then we'll go to what is information security now coming back to what is information so information is what information is an asset I, in my terms information is an asset like other business assets uh, which has value to which has value to the organization and it needs sustainability protect protection means information cannot be uh, overwritten it, it has to be protected so in, in in terms of organization information is an asset i can say and now information can be stored it can be destroyed it can be, it can be transmitted corrupted and so on information can be done in various types it can be created it can be stolen uh, but yes whatever form the information is or it by means it can be shared or stored, it should always be protected. The most important thing is protection of information. So we are here to learn how information security is designed, what all information is required to protect and how to protect that as well. Yeah. So coming back to now the other parameter now, what is information security, which I will be talking about on this. So see, information security again, Information security is an architecture where integrated combination of appliances, sub suppositions, softwares, or vulnerability scans works together. So all are interrelated. So once you go into the organization, as you might be some of you might be working for some some uh, somewhere, or you might be as a student as well. So if you visit any company from entering into the campus itself, the information security role of information security starts. You will get an access card, you will go inside, all is in monitoring stage itself. So information security is monitored 24 by 7. And the most important thing, the second, third line of this particular slide, security is also for people, process and technology. So I want to highlight this. All the organizations has been most important thing is people. After that, the process and technology comes into picture. So information security is designed so that people who is working either in the office, on-premise or off-premise, they are well secured, either the customers or the employees themselves. After that, the process and technology comes into picture. Now, people, people means what, who we are. People can be your shareholders, the owners, or even the employees, management employees, service providers, even you can say contractors, clients, et cetera. So these are the peoples where this security is most important. We have to first abide by the security of people, then we'll go to normal our process and, and then technology. So if you will talk about the process now, what are the process we do? So there are different various process in an organization where people work upon, like if you'll say change management, request management, access management, even third party service management, procurement. So different uh, industry will have different types of process. So once people is secured, the process gets secured. Will the, the organization works towards the process to be secured. And the finally comes the picture of technology. So which technology should be used to secure all these people process or what technology is being used by the companies currently, which has, uh, uh, which has to be secured so that their entire data which is stored into their premises on site or off site is secured so you know all these like vpn internet connections or even intranet connection all has to be secured enough nowadays you know uh, wireless uh, wireless connectivity has come up wi-fi every organization is using means most of the organization is using wi-fi now in terms in terms of lan and all so they have removed lan uh, as as their secondary backup now and they are using Wi-Fi now as a primary source of uh, primary source in the offices itself, so that there is no 
means that there is a best way of communication uh, through Wi-Fi itself. Now, in the second part, you say uh, the network. The, it, it, I was talking about this in technology in terms of network network infrastructure. There are application infrastructure as well, physical infrastructure. Physical infrastructure means your CCTV cameras, your uh, clock in system, biometrics, uh, all these electricity, power backup, all has to be stored. This why I'm talking about physical security here is because people live there, people stay there. So physical security is most important uh, is important part of uh, an organization because again I told you people is more important for organization and then process and technology comes into picture. Now moving ahead to is digital devices, digital devices like computers and mobiles. Uh, what attackers do? Attackers attackers basic motto is to harm business to do to target the customers so that their role or their process can be. Uh, decreased, they are not able to work. So they are most important is your computers and mobiles. Nowadays, everything is on mobile and rather coming to computers now. So first now any app is being launched, they, lo they launched into on mobile first and then they will go for computer uh, on desktop application and all. Because everything in this era is coming as handy. People want to, everything to be handy. So uh, uh, the Companies also who is producing this uh, and the hackers also is targeting your first devices mobile and then they go to the further on their desktops and all. So this has to be particularly monitored, has to be safeguarded in terms of information security as uh, how to safeguard this will come uh, will come into the next uh, slides and all. We'll discuss that as well. What we do for doing that uh, safety. Yeah. Now, the third point is all these digital devices needs to be secured. Connecting networks needs to be secured. So connecting networks means what? Whenever anything, uh, suppose an email has to be sent. Email is being sent from, suppose one uh, email ID to another email ID. In between that, the network which is transmitting that particular email has to be secured enough so that no interim, no internet, no interim people can come inside, join inside the particular network and store your data, steal your data. This is most important guys. So connecting networks, now, what is this digital device means? Digital device are your computers, notepads, mobiles, which is very handy to the hacker. And they will try to go inside that network and try to figure it out as what can be compromised there. So this is important things which need security in terms of organizational point of view. Now, the most important things coming comes while we discuss information security is your so CIA tried. CIA tried is basically three three tried uh, combination of three trides. One is confidentiality, second is integrity, and third is availability tried. Yeah. Now in this confidentiality, integrity, availability, what does this mean? This is most important and most basic concept of information security. In this, uh, this as you know, confidentiality means un uh, unauthorized access and unauthorized use. What does this mean is confidentiality. Confidentiality is a term used to prevent the disclosure of information to unauthorized individual or systems. So organization maintain that confidentiality in terms to safeguard their data. So see, data has to be kept uh, secret in every, in every aspects of uh, uh, dependent teams and all. So what we do uh, for safeguarding this, the owner, have, owner of the data, every data will have their data owners in, uh, described into the organizations. So owner of the data has to decide who he wants or she wants to give the access and, uh, he, and only after his or her approval only that data can be accessed or data access can be given to somebody else. And if somebody is not authorized, then we should not, uh, that the owner should not approve that particular uh, particular data approval as well that so that uh, the unauthorized access should not be given to that and the second part comes here is unauthorized uses now see if i have given you the access of some data and if you're unauthorizing it using is unauthorized in an unauthorized manner that is against the confidentiality of the information security trial so basically when we join any organization we have been told that there should be unauthorized use of this data we should not be like using it any and every place. We cannot define that. So confidentiality of data is most important in terms of uh, CIA tried. Second part will come, if we move ahead is integrity. What does integrity means? 
integrity is basically what what integrity basic definition is that integrity means that it cannot be data cannot be modified undetectably what does that mean so data see the slide tells about that detects alteration that have occurred in either in storage or in transit so when we store the data data gets stored on your uh, database and uh, when any data moves means whenever we do some uh, suppose we do some trans means uh, visit some sites and all the data gets transmitted from one uh, one location to another location or if we send an email from one uh, from one person to another person there's a network in in transit where data moves from one particular network or one particular area to other area so that is called data in transit so in both these aspects data the we, there should be nobody who can alter the data unauthorized the the employees or the teams who has got access to that or who has been authorized to give that data change can happen they only can do that otherwise if if its data gets uh, data gets altered either in storage or in transit then there is no integrity comes into picture so again the same very important topic is cia tried is integrity integrity of data is most important most important how we check that how system checks that whether integrity of any email has got broken or some somebody has got something has compromised with that some data has been compromised we'll discuss it in detail that about that so we'll tell you how integrity is being checked while while data transfers from one location to another locations and last part of CIA trade is availability. So it's the job of the uh, technical team that data should be available 24 by seven. There should be reliable backups for that. There should be authorized access who can view the data or who can edit the data and redundancy. So redundancy is most important as in the terms of availability. So now in this uh, cloud world you are knowing, in this cloud world, every data has their backups as well as redundancy so if one site goes down there should be some other site which should be up and within a span of minutes the data should be ready to use so nowadays what organization do organization create too many backups of systems so that in terms of anything failure happening at one site due to some attack or any floods or all then that particular backup can be used from some other location so in the terms of data should be available 24 by 7 or you can data should be available anytime every time so that there is no issue while public which is using the data is not getting that particular information so it is most important that uh, the infrastructure which is being set up for the availability should be based upon the application which is being used so in terms if i talk about in terms of banking now in nowadays banking you know it is 24 by 7 so if if bank server or bank's database server has some issue in one location then automatically some other location should get start so that there should not be any issue if somebody do the transaction at that time also or if suppose what happens is uh, i am doing some transaction right now and my the system's database got uh, is not available how i will do it's a business loss to the company so data should be available every time so that uh, either people can work on that or even they know how to proceed further means this is most important in terms of your uh, organizational point of view where business can get depreciated if data is not available on time to the concerned people so this is most important aspects ci right is most important in terms of your information security as far as information security is concerned so this Three topics, CIA trade, right? confidentiality, integrity, and availability is most important. Now the third, third part comes again. Some people, some, uh, some organization uh, also focus on authenticity of data. So whenever data travels from one system to another system or one location or another location, systems should tell to verify who is the identity, identify the identity of the user. What does it mean? Suppose I'm sending data from my system to another system, system computer should well enough, well monitored or well tracked that it can tell that um, I have sent the data to somebody. So identity of the user is most important here. So that data, data can be authenticated means that, yeah, you are the correct person which has been, which who has sent this data. 
so i i i i'm sure you all have gone through that particular spam emails and all where some emails coming from different sources and it is not trusted and they try to loot your money and all so this is important guys to know from where the what is the source of the data who is the who is the identity of the data who is a user who has sent this data so this this confidentiality integrity availability and even authenticity i have not mentioned it authenticity here but i just want to elaborate that yeah authenticity is again one more major thing which which should which has to be uh, kept uh, while discussing information security or information security point of view these are the four important uh, uh, paths you can say of basics of information security which every organization has to follow and they must follow this now coming back to the other thing risk threat and vulnerabilities I know you might have gone through uh, risk uh, threats and vulnerabilities many times, but let me tell you uh, on this forum what does this mean? Risk uh, and your threats and vulnerabilities. So see, this is nothing. Basically, it it's like uh, every every other three. All the three are interrelated in this, as you see in the right side of the screen, the diagram. So let me tell what is risk first, and then we'll come to threat and vulnerability. Risk is a possibility which a threat exploits again i'll tell risk is a possibility that a threat exploits vulnerability in an asset asset can be your all infrastructure of the company like servers databases cctv and even other things desktops mobiles all other which company is using and cause damage and loss to the asset so what is the risk risk is a possibility so see risk is a possibility that a threat exploits a vulnerability in an asset that caused damage to the asset. So this is the, so I was telling, all risk, threat, and vulnerability are interrelated to each other. I'll come to that. Before moving that, I'll, I'll let me explain what is threat. As I explained about risk, I'll also tell you what is threat. So sometimes, sometimes what happens is that can cause, that can potentially cause your damage to the organization. Threat is, threat is like uh, that can potentially cause damage to the organization or the IT systems or networks. And this is called threat, This, which is written here, something that can cause damage to organization or system. And last point is in this is vulnerability. What does this vulnerability comes into picture? Vulnerability is a basically a weakness that exposes a threat. Yes, so weakness in the organization, either in the IT systems or into the network that can be exploited is is by, that can be exploited by the threat is called vulnerability. So all these three important terms, risk, threat, and vulnerability are interrelated to each other. So see, in this diagram, if I see the threat exploits your vulnerabilities. So if we have a threat, it, it can exploit the vulnerability. And again, if vulnerability exposed, if it's vulnerability exposed to information assets, then, uh, then what will happen? Risk will increase. Risk will increase in terms of asset value. The right side vulnerability exposes the information assets and information search assets have asset values then the risk will get increased so if there is a threat then we know and if it and the threat can be exploited by any any of the vulnerabilities that then it will become a risk for the organization in the same way if the threats increases the risk also will increase so what should what organization do in terms of uh, reducing it or reducing the risk uh, appetite so what organization do is they they maintain a proper controls they design a proper controls so that these threats can be eliminated and due to which the, there should not be any vulnerabilities into the system this is the major requirement or major aspects which information security team monitors so they have got different tools to do this so they what they do is first they will have that tool they will implement their own controls there which is required by their particular system or by the particular organization. And based on the controls, system will define the threats. And if it threats is exploitable, exploitable, then it got converted into vulnerabilities. And based on the vulnerabilities uh, risk, whether it is a high risk, medium risk, low risk, uh, as per the exposure of vulnerability or as per the situation of the industry, they, the team describe whether it is high to them or low to them. And based on that, it gets protected by adding some more controls there or do some patching there. So this is important aspects. Uh, and this is round the clock, which organization do. 
24 by 7 the security team in most of the organization is 24 by 7 if not team is sitting 24 by 7 they will have monitoring capacity that team will monitor every aspects of life, every aspects of particular data 24 by 7 and if they found something asymptomatic like it is having issues which is not coming in uh, currently then they will uh, they, they will discuss on the particular threat vulnerabilities and accordingly organization will take a stand there the sick every organization will take a discuss internally and then first they will see whether this threat will impact their systems or not if yes if they are if it's getting impacted then uh, the proper controls again has to be mitigated controls has to be come into picture so it is a responsibility of the chief security officer into the organization who manages the complete security ownership who takes the ownership of this so this is very important in terms of your uh, threat and vulnerabilities uh, which is which is there so as i told you this is important threat vulnerabilities is the most common nowadays and now see how these threats what are the elements of threats i'll come to that so elements of threats can be three types of elements is basic uh, which comes into picture one is we as a human being human being is the biggest threat yeah Second thing is machine, machine like virus, computer generated algos, and third is nature, nature natural threat. Natural threat, threat is like your flood, uh, rain, and all, which can also cause the issue to the systems in the availability of the things. Yeah. And now I was talking about your human, human, human threat. Human threat is most dangerous threat into an organization. Suppose as an employee, I'm working into an organization. And I know what are the flaws into the system. If you you will stay some time for in the system, you also know what are the deficiencies in the system. So if that deficiency is being known to me or somebody else, and if if I told that deficiency to somebody else as well, so and that can also get impacted. So human threat is most important threat into the organization. It can be motivational. It can be accidental. Some something may happen. So it is important that uh, accidental and intentional two things which is there into for the human aspect has to be mitigated. So again, that comes into picture again, access control and all, which I'll come to that point as what, how to mitigate that human control as well. But yeah, giving, a, giving, a, uh, coming back to the again, uh, that should be accidental what happens is suppose i know where the, what are the deficiency into the system and uh, some uh, some day i am not in a good mood and i told that particular thing to somebody else yeah that may cause and again a threat to the system or threat to the organization that yeah there is a deficiency deficiency into the uh, network or flaw into the network which can cause damage to the organization so human human elements of threat is most important which has to be checked again Coming back to again, the, the threats is the, which I discussed earlier is your confidentiality, integrity, and availability, CIA threat. CIA threat is normally is basically the machine level threats, which has to be mitigated, which has to be kept secret as how the confidentiality, accessibility, or integrity is being checked while data gets transferred from one location to another location, or how the data is being transmitted, or who all have the access of this data. So all this has to be taken care of while describing the threat. Yeah. So most important threat I was telling you is, is your we as employee ourselves or the external third party which we have given some contract to work upon them. So they will also visit your premise and they will also know what are the deficiencies in the system and all. Even the person who is not aware of the security. So as uh, I'll tell you the fact, whenever a, com whenever, uh, a person join a new company or either in the early stage of his career or in the later stage of his career, there will always be a session on information security so that uh, as per the organization standards, so that we, they should know what is the importance of in information security into the organization and how to treat that, how to be secured enough. So I don't know whether you are all aware or not, some of the organization it, itself not allow mobile phones also into their premises while going inside. So they have a chance, they, they think, organization think that data leakage can happen through mobile. So, and even some, some uh, organization even doesn't allow camera phones and all. So this is part of the ba basic things 
as per the data intrinsic factor and all. So I hope this particular slide about fatal liberties will know, let you know, uh, will uh, tell you about how the data gets classified, what are the risks in those and how this risk gets implemented through controls and all. So once we, once the controls get accumulated, means the controls get accepted by the team or implemented, then that controls will reduce the risk of the particular area or the particular threats or vulnerabilities which has happened under the system. I'll give you the live example in a couple, which is, which is, which is happening currently or which has happened in past that uh, hackers tried to hack uh, some of the systems into some network and they exploited that. They were, they were able to hack that. So as a control measure, as a control measure, the patching has to be done on all the servers which ha was having that particular impacted thing. And again, uh, the team has to add that control, implement that control so that this can be mitigated. So hackers are around the world. They will try to leak, uh, uh, go inside your network uh, to steal something so that they can be benefited from that. Or even if, if they can ask, so you know, you have heard about ransomware and all, where they ask some ransom money to get it get off even. So these are the things where organization has to work together uh, in, in, in an organization so that the information can be secured enough. So this is most important in terms of your risk and uh, vulnerabilities. So every organization has their vulnerability management team even, which tells uh, what are our vulnerability and how soon we controls, we add some controls to mitigate that vulnerabilities as well. 